pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The screws. Hey, Tom Thomas, what you thinking about? Huh? For school, I have to write an essay. My very best friend. I don't know, who should I write about? What do you mean, who? Aren't I your closest friend? Of course. How could I forget to write about you? And you can keep forgetting. That's our secret, right? Don't you remember the promise you made when we met? <sighs> sure, how could I forget? What's wrong with Chusaka today? Chusaka, why are these screws bothering you so badly? What's with you? Leave them alone already. Will you just calm down? You're gonna destroy my plane. Let's get out of here. Ow! What's going on? <gasps> What's going on? Hey, if you don't turn back again, I'm not letting you go. Oh, please, don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you too. I'll just ask you one question and let you go. <sighs> Nolik, we can't. Don't worry about it. Quit your staring. Ask your question, boy. No way you can talk. Just, just, just tell me, who are you? Fixies! That's all. We answered. Now you let us out. Oh, wait, but what's it mean that you're fixies? That's already question number two. You promised to let us out, didn't you? I'm sorry. You can leave now. Zenka, it's fine. I can see from his look that we can trust him. Uh, all right. We'll tell him. You gotta swear that you don't tell anyone else. I swear it. Fixies. We're the little people that live inside of machines and appliances and take care of them. Fixing them, cleaning them, and oiling them. Humans never suspect us. They think that if something breaks and then suddenly starts working again, that it happened all by itself. Well, nothing happens by itself. It happens because we, the Fixies, are living inside. Yes, without the Fixies, humans would have so many more problems with their machines. That's awesome. And so what are your names? That's already question number three. You can call me Nolik, and her name is Simka. And my name's Tom Thomas. Will you come back over? Oh, well. Uh, I was this close to becoming the first kid in the whole world to make friends with the Fixies. I thought you guys would never come back over. And we didn't plan on coming back. But then we thought it'd be really great to be the only Fixies in the whole world, who are friends with the only kid in the whole world, who is friends with the Fixies. Ah! And who has told no one about us. The Fixies do everything they can do to hide from humans. They are afraid that if humans discovered Fixies, they would hunt them down and capture them and start keeping them in cages just like pets. And worse than that, they would take them into their laboratories and start examining them under microscopes, even conducting scientific experiments on them. Or suppose that humans thought we'd do all their work for them, and so they decided that they didn't have to take care of their appliances any longer. 
Well then, let me tell you this. If humans decided that they didn't have to clean or fix their own appliances, then not even the Fixies will be able to stop them from breaking no matter what they do. That's why the Fixies are very smart to hide from humans. Okay then, I'll write about someone else. I have the very best friend ever. Period. When something's broken, he repairs it. He's the one and only No. The one and only Nolan. The level. Tom Thomas, I'm really sorry. The movie this weekend, I have to cancel. You do? I need to go to Africa for work. I leave tomorrow. Oh, cool. You think I could go with you? To Africa? Can you even find it on the map? Africa. Here we go. Mm-hmm. No, you're still too little. When you grow as tall as the top of Africa, then I'll take you with me. Here, there, ugh. Uh, uh. Tom Thomas, what you doing down there? I want to know if I'm as tall as the top of Africa or not. Well, do you know your height? Uh-uh. Okay, then let's measure you and mark how tall you are. You just need to hold the book, all right? Simka, uh, how do we measure what's higher? The top of Africa or this line over here? Hmm. Hmm. It's a tough one. We need a piece of flexible, clear tubing. Oh, I can get it for you. I know where it is. And we'll build a simple tool to find out the answer. It's called a water level. Let's do an experiment. First, we'll pour water into two bottles, a little bit more into one, and a little less into the other. Now we'll connect them with a tube so that the water can flow between them. You see? The water flows and flows, and then it stops. It stops when there's the same amount of water inside of both bottles. And if we do this with a simple tube, it becomes a useful tool called a water level, in which the water on both sides is always the same height. I'm going to watch the water level on this end, all right? Be careful how you lift it or the water can get out. Nolik, what's going on? The water inside the tube is even with the line. There you go, Tom Thomas. Where the water is right now is how tall you are. And? Well, it looks like Tom Thomas isn't quite tall enough for Africa. What if we hold the tube a little higher? You can try if you want, but the water's gonna stay where it is. See? The water level on your side always stays the same as on the other side. Uh, I'm not getting that tall for a while yet. And what if we just lower the map a little? wouldn't be honest. But it would be clever. There are a lot of great proverbs, but my favorite one is measure twice, cut once. And to measure things right, you need measuring tools. The simplest one is a ruler. With its help, we can find out the length of an object. A watch can tell us how much time has passed. A speedometer shows us how fast we are moving, like in a car or on a bike. An electric meter keeps track of how much electricity we are using. A decibel meter can tell us who is screaming or stomping louder. And a beam compass is used to accurately measure the size of a coin or a hole. We couldn't get by without wonderful tools like these. If we didn't measure the things we are building carefully, everything around us would just come loose and fall apart. Uh-oh. Dad. Dad! Look, Dad. Hmm, that's strange. Looks like you are a little taller. 
Does that mean you'll take me with you? Yeah. Are you ready? Yay! Ugh. But everyone who goes to Africa has to get vaccinated. You're okay with that, aren't you? I need vaccinations to go. Are you sure? Yeah, there's one against malaria, tsetse fly, crocodile bites. Altogether, there are ten shots. Ten shots? Yeah, ten. Oh. Dad, you know, I was joking. After you left the room, I moved the map down. Okay, I see. And I was joking about all those shots you need. What? You mean you don't need to get shots? You gotta. Just not ten. So how many? Nine of them. There's no vaccination anywhere to stop a crocodile from biting you. <laughs> the tin can. Well, what else goes? A flashlight. It's good to have when you're camping. Listen, Tom Thomas. Just leave a little room for me in there. I'm good to have when you're camping, too. I'll leave you some room. Just hide in there so Dad won't see you. And you can't tell Simka anything about me going with you. All right. And last on the list, a few cans of meat. Hi, Tom Thomas. Have you seen Nolik? No. Then who did I just hear you talking with? I, uh... I was just reading the label. Huh. Where did Nolik run off to? Simka, do you know... Um, how come these cans have no way to open them so you can taste what's inside? What do you mean? Don't you know what makes canned food special? It comes in a can. <laughs> about canned food is that it can get stored a long time without spoiling. You see, meat and vegetables spoil when harmful bacteria start multiplying inside of them. So, if you can get rid of the bad bacteria or stop them from getting into the food, the food will last a long time. That's why jars and cans are sealed very tightly. This stops harmful bacteria and air from getting inside and spoiling the food. Telling me that Nolik's not here, right? Another can I should take with me. There's something fishy happening here. Hey, guys. My mom threw this can out a long time ago, but I hid it for later. I knew I'd use it someday. And who were you talking to when you said guys? Moi? Uh, you're here and I'm here, and that's two of us. Look at this great can I got. There's nothing great about it. Put it down on the floor. You see? What? Oh, it's crooked, and so what? So what? It's all swollen. And when it's like that, you know that inside the can, bad bacteria is growing and spoiling the food that's in there. It went bad? There's a way to check. On every single can, you can find the date it's good until. Sooner or later, even canned food will go bad. And, of course, dairy foods like yogurt or milk can spoil in just a few days. When you buy food in the store, it's very important to always check the expiration date. The expiration date's the last day that it's safe to eat that food without worrying that it may have gone bad. You can find the expiration date on each box, jar, or can of food, so pay attention. And be very careful not to buy or eat any food after its expiration date has passed. And if you see that a can is swollen, throw it away immediately. If you eat it, your belly can swell up too. Unfortunately, when food spoils, it's impossible to unspoil it, and then even the fixies won't be able to help. Oh, my mom probably saw that this can went bad over a year ago. 
That's why she threw it into the trash. Right. Shame on you for picking it out of there. You could have poisoned yourself and poisoned your dad as well. Yeah. And the other cans, are they swollen too? They're fine. Goodbye then. It's a shame I couldn't find Nolik around here. Papus wants to give him a brand new pack of mat as a present. To me? Aha, I gotcha. <laughs> I had a feeling you would try to sneak away in Tom Thomas's bag. You lied, that's not fair. And hiding, that's fair, right? Tom Thomas, are you ready? I'm ready. Great, then let's get going. Hooray! We're going camping. <sighs> I want to go camping, too. Don't worry, I'll go camping with you. Really? Really, really, really. To that house outside our window. See how huge it is? 